This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Have you seen how trendy it is to draw a stylized landscape inside a circle? You know, in a fancy sketchbook. These videos are all over YouTube and I love them. These types of drawings are great for developing skills. So let's make some using three perspective drawing techniques that you can use for yourself or to teach to others. We're gonna be using atmospheric perspective, one point perspective, and two point perspective. But let's start with atmospheric perspective. This is when things that are far away look faded or pale. The further away, the more faded they look. Just like the mountains here. Draw a wobbly line near the bottom of the circle. Make it as rough as you like. Then draw one above it. And then one more. Draw a moon or a sun at the top. You can draw this freehand or draw around something circular, totally up to you. The bottom mountains are the closest to us, so we need them to be the darkest. For this, I will use cross hatching. The middle mountains need to be a little lighter, so for this I'll use regular hatching. And for the distant mountains I'll use some dots, this is called stippling. Then stick a few lines in for some distant clouds and you're done. Right, on to the next one. One point perspective is really easy. It just means that some lines need to go to a single point. First draw a horizon line across the circle. Then mark an X in the middle. I'm using a pencil now so I can rub these lines out later. The mountains are a wobbly line on top of the horizon line. Divide them in half with a crooked line and use hatching to shade one half. This gives a nice 3D effect. This bit is the vanishing point, or the single point. You could use the triangle underneath to draw a road or a railway track, but I'm going to draw a dock. Then just put some small lines near the horizon and make them longer as they get closer to you.
So next we're going to talk about how to make a landscape using two point perspective, which is my favorite. But first I would like to talk to you about this video sponsor, which is Skillshare. Now Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can discover and explore new skills, deepen existing passions and get lost in creativity. There are loads of class topics, including animation, illustration, painting, calligraphy. A recent class that I found rewarding is by the renowned YouTuber, Marquez Brownlee. The class is called YouTube Success Script Shoot and Edit with MKBHD. Marquez shares his full filmmaking process and I now understand the importance of the first 10 seconds of my tutorials and how I can make this more engaging and fresh for you. Now Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, which means you won't find adverts on there, which is brilliant. Plus they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so that you can explore your creativity, which is ace. This drawing involves two vanishing points at each end of the horizon line. Draw a small vertical line in the middle, then join the top and bottom of the line to each vanishing point. Use a vertical line to make a box and stick a triangle on top. Join the top of the triangle to the furthest vanishing point. Add another diagonal line and a vertical line and you have yourself a barn. Or stick some windows on it and you can have a house or any building for that matter. Use scribbles on the horizon line to make distant trees. And stick loads of small lines in to make long grass or wheat. Stick some large ones in to create a foreground and create the illusion of depth. Stick in some more line clouds and you're sorted. 